Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent Core and welcome to some control. Today I'm going to be going over 10 tips and tricks that you guys need to know about this game. I do want to give a quick thanks to 505 Games, this is not a paid endorsement, but they did allow me to play and record this game early. They're the same company that created Alan Wake, which is actually one of my all-time favourite games, and they also did Quantum Break, and even created Max Payne. So they do have quite a history of making very awesome games. So let's get into that first tip. Make sure you visit the janitor's room because there is a notice board in there that will give you some new side quests. And completing these side quests will give you more rewards and potentially some new ability points. The notice board is easily missed so don't forget to check back here. This next tip I actually discovered by accident but if you hit down on the d-pad you can actually switch what side the camera is on so it'll change the over the shoulder um, shot. And this is really handy because it lets you peek around corners and lets you have as little of your body visible as possible and you can change this at any time on the fly so it's super handy when you're navigating around corridors. Tip number three is the control points are not just for fast traveling you can use them to spend ability points and upgrade your service weapons. Upgrading your weapons will increase the base damage of your weapon and unlock more mod slots for them. And these mod slots will attach additional mods to your weapons, increasing the effectiveness of it so you can improve its reload speed or damage depending on what the mod is. So each additional mod slot that you unlock for your weapons is really going to help boost it. This next tip is also accessed from control points and it's to remember and visit your board countermeasures. It actually took me a while to realise this one but the tasks in here won't automatically start. You have to manually go into your board countermeasures and start each one individually before it will start progressing you in that challenge. So I'd recommend visiting this tab as soon as possible and starting all of the tasks that you're able to. The first ones will be pretty easy such as getting kills or getting kills with melee and the more you complete the more tasks that will become available with better rewards and you can unlock some very easy rewards from completing these. Tip number five is to not forget about the collectibles. Control is absolutely packed full of collectibles and they're not just for achievement purposes, the collectibles will also give you more lore in the story, they're going to have some random easter eggs in there and most importantly some of these collectibles will unlock hidden side quests for you to complete. Tip number six is to deconstruct any mods that you are not using for materials. You'll end up collecting a lot of mods that you'll probably never use or lower tier mods of the ones you're already currently using so it's always best to repurpose these mods and just deconstruct them and you'll be able to use those materials to upgrade your character in the future. Next up is to focus on the health and throwing abilities in the skill tree. In my opinion these are the two most useful um, uses for your ability cards, health for obvious reasons but the throw ability is very very good when it's upgraded. As you invest more into your throw ability, you'll also be able to unlock other upgrades such as being able to throw enemies each other. And just in general, you'll find yourself using the throw ability a lot more than you're using melee or blocking. Tip number 8 is a real quick one, but if you see any shelters in the game, even if you're not going to use them, always check inside them because they usually always have a crate with a mod inside. Tip number 9 is to make use of the evade ability and when you unlock this one it's useful for a couple of different reasons. First of all it is the most efficient way to travel around the game so if you're needing to run through any long corridors using the evade move will get you there very quickly. And second of all evade is highly useful in gunfights. You can avoid enemy bullets, you can avoid enemy rockets and when you're evading around and you can also use it to strategically move into areas where you've taken out enemies and collect health from them. Because in control there's actually no health regeneration so you have to be really careful when you're in gunplay and actually moving into and progressing into areas where there are enemies you've been taking out so you can actually restore your health. So the evade maneuver is super handy to rush into that area, collect the health and then you can use it to evade back out of there and quickly get back into your cover position. And that leaves me with the last tip for this video and that is to use all of your weapons together. So don't just rely on one weapon type in combat or you can get overwhelmed very very quickly. So what you want to do is use your gun, empty the clip, 
once your gun's empty and it's reloading, it has quite a long reload animation. So you want to switch to using your abilities, so you could use things like the force ability or your melee attack for any enemies up close. And this basically allows you to be constantly attacking enemies and not having to wait for either your energy or your weapon to reload if you were just relying on one of them. So basically keep rotating between all of your weapons and abilities and you're going to be very, very powerful. So that brings me to the end of this video. I really hope these tips helped you guys out. If any of you have been playing Control and you've found any tips or tricks for yourself, feel free to leave them down in the comments and we can kind of use that area as an area to share tips if I missed any out in this video. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.